Hi and welcome to my channel. This is a quick review for the Academy German Tiger 1 early version Operation Citadel. The box number is 13509. If we start with the instructions, there's two booklets. The main booklet for the actual build instructions and the second booklet which has got your sprue maps and your markings and paint layouts with the three tanks provided. Uh, the first instruction manual is really good. It gives you colour callouts for Humboldt paint, life colour, testers, model masters, revel and Vallejo which is quite a good touch and also where it gives you, you've got quite a bit of photo etch in this kit for the price anyway and it's very clearly marked where the options are which is really really good. As I say the instructions are very clear, easy to follow, nice and big, be quite a good kit for a beginner actually. This kit itself has been around since around 1995. It's been retooled and had new parts fitted. It was also the, the kit I believe they used for the full interior version. Um, but obviously they've taken those parts out. There have been some new parts added which include a multi-piece gun barrel. Because the only thing I would change in this kit if I had to from the one piece gun barrel would be that. Because it's not very good. The multi-piece one looks quite good but we'll wait until I build it. But yeah, it's still a good kit. Good value for money. If we move on to the sprues, I believe there's 11 plastic sprues in total, two duplicate sprues for A and E, which is the suspension arms and the wheels. There's also a little rubber sprue, which I showed you there for the air filters on the back. There's some nice photo etch, no clear parts, and they also give you a piece of string for the tow rope, which is nice. Uh, I won't be using that, but the, the sprues are nice, the details not that crisp but it's it's good enough it's really good value for money uh i think for what i need the tank for is it's going to be perfect because it's just i'm doing an early version of one of the first tanks to go to the to go to russia with the old panzer IV um storage box on the back i've got some nice photos i'm going to be going through to try and do a certain tank which this kit will be perfect for The photo in this kit is for, they give you the grill covers for the um, rear engine covers, but they also give you little latches for the stowage box and also the um, cable mounts for the side for the, for the track cable, which is quite a nice little touch. The weld detail on the turret isn't that good, but I'll be reworking that anyway. Um, also, they give you both types of air filters, which is nice tricks. They're nicely, nicely detailed as well. There's nice weld detail on the rear exhaust cover. I'm guessing you call it a manifold cover, I'm not sure, but it's pretty nice detail there, nice weld um, cast detail. I'm trying to work out the difference between the two turret sets. They give you an additional one. You have to use that one in the instructions. They both look identical. I think they're both early turrets. But I think it might be that on the box it mentions that they've adjusted it so that the turret is asymmetrical. But I can't tell that until I build it, to be honest. Again, on the newer parts, the wild detail is exactly the same as the previous parts, which is a shame they could have reworked it. But there you go.
they give you individual trucks and they're nicely detailed apart from the guide horn which is solid but apart from that they're, they're nice trucks and if we look at the lower hull on the inside which you can't see I've got many photos of it but on the inside you can see all the markings for the the internals when it was used as the full interior kit but the detail on the hull is nice nice and crisp decals are also very nice there's no they're nicely aligned and again there's a the photo etch that's very nice if I leave you now with some photos of the instructions so you can have a look overall the, the kit's really good I have only just received it and I've literally just opened it the the detail is good enough for the price you pay uh, the cast detail is nice shame about the wells being a little lackluster but they're going to be reworked anyway like I say it's for I think I paid 35 39 quid for it which is quite good value for money really and I'm not going to be using a lot of the details in it anyway I hope you've enjoyed this review I don't always do reviews I just thought I've literally just received in the post this morning and I'm going to be doing a quite a big conversion to it so I just wanted to look in the box and I thought I'd I do a kit review of it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, then please consider subscribing, leave a like, a comment, everything's welcome. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks and goodbye.